afternoon. I'm um, what's turning into a horrible afternoon. He's chucking it down outside, so bringing the dogs in. Oh, what a good girl! And um, just mixing up a little bit of different types of games. So we've got Betsy here. And what I've just created here is another confidence game. So this is a balanced path. <laughs> You're doing so good. And all I've got is a few objects. I've got um, it's an old archery board which I use as um, a back plate to teach a dog how to walk up a wall. So obviously I, I lean it up against the wall low level, so just resting on the skirting board and I get them to put the back legs on it. And then it gradually angles up until actually the dog can put its rear legs and actually start to do almost a handstand. So they put their back legs and walk up the wall. So I'm just using that as an object. I've got a fit pause donut, which is a specific piece of doggy fit pause equipment for balance um, and strengthening muscles and, and, and lots of different things. A cardboard box from noise box and then i've got a human balance board and then a human human sort of wobble wobble board so it's got little nodules i don't know if you can see it in the video but there's little nodules on there so it's a different surface this has got like um, a grippy surface on little nodules on here so we've got different surfaces different levels different textures objects that move so the balance board moves the wobble board moves so again it just creates that confidence in what's happening so now with this, we are doing a little bit of luring, you know, so I want um, Betsy to sort of walk over and traverse over these to gain that confidence. I could place pieces along here, but because it's so narrow, she'll probably go for them from the side. So I'm just gonna get her into position. Come here, Betsy. Lure around. Yes, good girl. And then we get her going along. Betsy. Good girl. Come on then. Yes, good girl. <laughs> yes, what a good girl. Pop, pop. Yes, good girl. Oh, good girl. Yes, good girl. Come on. Good girl. Oh, look at you, good girl. Good girl. Come on. Betsy, pop, pop, pop. Yes. So now I'm getting her to follow the hand. Good girl. Yes, good girl. Yes, what a good girl. Yes, good girl. And then I can reward her slightly differently. So again, just going to follow the hand rather than the tree. Good girl. And as you saw earlier, the, the balance board sort of fell, it makes her jump off, but she's getting back on there with confidence. <laughs> Oops, sorry. There you go. Good girl. Betsy, pop, pop, pop. Yes, good girl. So you can see the box is sort of giving way, so it's bending. This is bouncing. Betty! So you can see that she's on it and I can, I can start to wobble. Good girl. Yes, what a good girl. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Yes, what a good girl. Yes, good girl. So we can make it wobble. Betsy! Pop, pop. Girl. Yes, what a good girl. So again, another one of a great sort of exercise game, just using ordinary objects. Now, I know not everyone's got these, but you know, you can use cardboard boxes, just things you've got lying around, pieces of wood, different textures, different surfaces. You could even put silver foil on the floor wrapped around some card. You know, so many different variations that you can do with just using your imagination a little bit and getting them clambering over stuff again. Just simply building confidence. What a good girl. Yes. <laughs> what a good girl you are. Good girl. Well done. So there you go. Just have a go. Have a practice. Take it nice and slow. Don't worry if they don't go on. Just gently. Even if you just have to put pieces on to just get them eating off each piece as you go. If it looks like it's too complicated, then lower it down. You know, start doing it like that. You know. So we can just 
move it onto a, a much easier setting. So we're just trying to build her confidence. Betsy. Yes, good girl. Come on, this way. Good girl. So you don't have to make it complicated. If you find your dog struggling, rein it in, make it easier, make it more fun, let them enjoy it. And then once you've got them, even if it's just flat pieces of cardboard, I really don't mind, you know, just get them doing it and then you can add complexity. One of the things we do too soon with a lot of dogs is we add, good girl, we add control to it too early and we add complexity too early. The more you can create fun in those first, you know, four weeks of playing something, then the complexity isn't hard for them because they're enjoying the base game. Then you can add complexity and then you can add control. Just don't get it in too soon because you could poison the game. But like I say, have a go. Hopefully it's um, been useful for you again. Um, I do it most days with either, either in the back garden. But yeah, just something different for your dogs to do. And in the pouring rain like this, what better way to exercise your dog? See you later.